Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to change the blinker fluid in your car or truck. You can see here in my truck, the blinker fluid is about half full and it needs to be filled all the way. Now if your mechanic tries to tell you he needs to service your blinker fluid, guess what? Find a new mechanic, he's ripping you off because you could totally do this at home inexpensively and this is all you need. Now real quick, before I go and explain all the tools you'll need, make sure that you share this video with your friends because I hate to see people get ripped off and I see it all the time. So if they watch this video, you know they won't get ripped off at the dealership or at their mechanic. Now this is all you need to change your blinker fluid. Safety is very important, so make sure you wear gloves because blinker fluid could irritate your skin. And even more important than the gloves are glasses. You do not want to get blinker fluid in your eyes because if you do, it'll cause uncontrollable blinking until you wash it out and you don't want that, trust me. Next, you're gonna need your blinker fluid. Now there are two types of blinker fluid. We have our advanced full synthetic and we have our conventional blinker fluid. And I'll go over in a few seconds which one you're gonna wanna use. We also have a funnel. Got some elbow grease, and then we have extra bulbs. It's a good time to change your bulbs now. And then finally, all you need is some common hand tools to get the job done. So let's go and change out the blinker fluid. Maintaining your blinker fluid is very important. You never want it to get this bad. Now, the blinker fluid works in all makes and models, and what it does is it maintains the operating temperature of the blinker housing. It also prevents damage to the housing. You can see here the housing on my blinker is all cracked and it's getting all hazy. It also lubricates the flash synchros, super important, and it extends the bulb life, very important for safety so you can be seen while you're making turns. And since safety is so important, that brings me to my next point. Right here we have synthetic and we have conventional blinker fluid. What blinker fluid should you use? Well, if you're running LED bulbs, then you want to make sure that you use synthetic blinker fluid only. If you're running the regular incandescent bulbs, then you could use either synthetic or conventional blinker fluid. I also suggest using synthetic blinker fluid in BMWs because they have major turn signal problems, which is why you never see people driving beamers use their turn signals. They just don't work. This synthetic blinker fluid has additives in it which helps stop leaks in BMW blinkers. It's specifically formulated to prevent leaks in these cars. So hopefully that'll help BMW owners have more confidence in using their turn signals. And that's everything you need to know about blinker fluid. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll answer them. So let's go change out the blinker fluid in my truck. The first thing we need to do is remove this blinker housing. And on my truck, it's super simple. There's a bolt right back here, and all you do is you remove that and it comes right out. Once you get it loose, you could unscrew it by hand. And then all you have to do on this is pull it right out. And now you want to remove the bulb, and it just twists, but make sure you're careful, you want to point the opening upwards to prevent spilling the remaining fluid. Now pour the old fluid out. Always dispose of the old blinker fluid properly. Your local parts store and recycle center will usually take it. What I like to do is call them up and ask if they recycle blinker fluid before I make the trip. And as mentioned before, now's a good time to change out that old bulb because it was low on blinker fluid, it's going to wear out soon and put in a nice fresh new bulb. And now you want to get your elbow grease which will help seal the bulb and prevent leaks. All you do is use some of the elbow grease on that white o-ring around the bulb, but don't touch the bulb. This is one of the main causes of leaking blinker fluid, so this is an important step that you shouldn't skip. Now with all the old fluid removed, find a good spot that holds this up so we could fill it. And a funnel will help a lot here so you don't spill any. Now we want to remove the cap and the foil cover. Carefully pour the blinker fluid into the housing so you don't spill any. And you want to fill it up all the way to the top. Perfect. You can see here this is filled to the brim. And then give it a few taps like this to remove any air and bleed the system. Good. Now we can go and install our blinker. Now the housing is filled up all the way with blinker fluid so have a paper towel ready just in case you spill some when you add your bulb. Now we just want to inspect real quick to make sure that this looks crystal clear. And this looks great. Now all you have to do is push this into place and it'll snap right in and then tighten down that bolt and we are done. Now check out that before and after. What a difference. Now you know how to replace your blinker fluid. Again, make sure you share this video with your friends so they can learn how to replace their blinker fluid. Also, if you tell them to watch the video, make sure you tell them to watch it to the end because I'd feel bad if they thought this was actually something they had to do. That being said, April Fools! Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. 
Remember to give it a thumbs up, and for my new viewers, my real videos go in depth on how to fix your car at home so you can save money, get back on the road, and just get that feeling of accomplishment when you fix your own car. So don't try putting liquid in your blinkers. Instead, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Up on the screen are gonna be some related videos like how to replace the muffler bearing, the top five uses of elbow grease, and how to make homemade snake oil. To get to those videos, you can click on the screen or find the links in the description below. Also in the description are the links to any tools and products I used in this video.